Okay, today's video is just going to be like a super, super quick video because I have so much work to do and stuff and, sorry, I have so much work to do and um, I'm just like swamped with stuff to do and I'm sorry that my room is like a mess, but once again, I'm just really busy today and, but I promised you guys that I would do two videos a week and so, um, I didn't want to do them all in one day, so today I'm going to do my hair care routine. And this video is very, high, very highly requested, um, but I haven't done it yet because as you guys know, or may or may not know, um, I usually get my hair done at a salon, but like for the past two weeks, I've been doing it myself. And so, um, so now I'm going to show you guys like the products I use because I've really been loving them and they've been giving me great results on my hair. And by the way, um, today I just curled my hair using like a three inch curling iron or something, something really big. And so like, it's not like curly, but it's like, um, it's like swoops kind of, if you can tell. I don't know. I really like the way it turned out. But anyways, um, I've already recorded this video, but um, it was somewhere else. I didn't want to do it in my room because my room is just like so a mess right now. But um, the lighting was really bad, and um, I don't know. It was like before I like curled my hair, and so my hair didn't really look as good. And so I just decided to foam it again. But whatever. Okay, I'm going to start with my shampoo. I use the Cream of Nature Professional Scalp Relief Shampoo, and it looks like this. And I really like this because for me, like, I don't drink a lot of water at all. So, like, throughout the week, my, um, my hair gets, like, really dry and my scalp gets really itchy. And, um, it's just, like, torture. And so, when I find when I use this that it really, like, when you put it in, it, like, tingles your scalp. And then, um, that's how you know it's working. And then, like, once you rinse it out, like, the tingling stops and, like, it takes all, like, all of your, um, like, scalp buildup and all your, um, flakes and stuff, dry skin flakes and stuff like that. Um, it just, like relieves your itchy scalp and takes all that with it and so I find this really good and like um I've used so much of it like the bottle is like this big it's a 32 fluid ounce bottle and it's like right here so I definitely need a refill I mean I definitely need to repurchase this but um I've been using this for like two years straight and I just love it and I used to use the um the conditioner that goes with it and I do like the conditioner but I found one that I like better so this is my shampoo and I'm not really sure how much this costs, but yeah. The um, conditioner that I use is the Color Insure, the Nexus Color Insure Replenishing Condition Conditioner and Detangler, and it looks like this. And um, I use this. It's called Color Insure, but I don't know why because like the main thing that it does is replenishes your hair. It doesn't like. It's not like. It's not like. Like, if you color your hair, they wouldn't say, oh, go out and buy this one, because it's not really, like, catered to colored hair or anything like that. But, um, I really like this because when I'm in my shower, I just, like, put it, rub it in my hair, and, like, focusing on the ends, it's really important that you, um, that you put a lot of conditioner on the ends of your hair, because they're, like, the, the oldest part of your hair, so they're the most prone to being, to, like, dying and, like, getting, like, split ends and stuff. But anyways, so I, like, put, put it all through my hair, leave it on for, like, three minutes, and, like, it detangles my hair, like, I don't even have to brush it after I use this, because it just detangles it so much and um and I don't know it just makes your hair like so smooth and so soft and so silky and it just makes it so beautiful so I love this and once again I've used quite a bit of this I'm like right here and this bottle is a 13.5 fluid ounce and this is like less than ten dollars at a beauty supply store Next, um, once I get out of my shower, I use this, and it's the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, and it looks like this, and this is like $5 at a, a local beauty supply store, and it's just a leave-in conditioner, and um, it really, like, it really makes your hair, like, really moisturized and really pretty and really silky, and it also provides a little bit of um, heat protecting, so you use this before you, um, before you put heat in your hair, and um, this is like less than uh, I think I think I already said it's less than five dollars at a beauty supply store. And also, like if your hair is breaking or if it seems like it's about to break, you make sure that you use a lot of this stuff because it um, because it will help repair broken hair as well, and um, it stops breakage and all that kind of stuff. So it's really good. It's a really good leave-in conditioner, and it smells amazing, like absolutely amazing. And um, next. I use before I blow dry my hair. I use this before and after I blow dry my hair. And it's the um, Tresemme Heat Tamer, and it looks like this. And I'm sure most of you would have heard of it. It has the like squirty thing. And um, I just use this. I really like it. It, it not only does it like provide heat protection, but it also um, 
it also like conditions your hair and like puts a lot of like good nourishing like nourishing minerals that you need in your hair and um it's really good and it lasts a long time like i've only used it a couple of times but um a lot of people a lot of gurus say it lasts a long time and i can tell that like it's not like i barely even put a dent in it and i use like a lot of it and so um but also i want to tell you guys how important it is to use heat protector because um as most of you know i cut my hair back in december um, but I didn't cut my hair because I wanted to. I cut it it because I, I cut it it. I cut it because I had to. Because I had so much damage. And, like, basically, I would, um, wash my hair, like, um, shampoo it, condition it, um, shampoo it, use conditioner, and then once I get out of the shower, I would just, like, use my flat iron and my blow dryer and, like, not any kind of heat protector or anything like that. And so, um, my hair was broken and it was, like, it was, like, down to like past my elbows and I had to cut it all the way up here and so like you can tell how bad how like much damage you can cause if you don't use heat protector so it's really really important to use heat protector and this one is like less than five dollars at a local drugstore so this one's really good and um yeah then the blow dryer that I use it's this one it's called the curl master 1600 and it just looks like this and I really like this one because it has like the heat settings. This is the coolest heat. This is the next warm heat. This is the hot heat. And this is the very hot heat. So like um, depending on like the, your hair texture, how damp your hair is and all that kind of stuff, you can adjust the temperature. And I really like that. And I really think that's really handy. And how I blow dry my hair is I don't use like the comb that, co that came with it. I like put my brush under my hair and like blow dry it like that. So like I use my brush as like the comb that would be on here and I blow dry it. And I really like that because if you haven't tried it at least try it out because it really works it makes your hair like straight and so it takes less time to flat iron your hair and um it takes a little bit more time to blow dry your hair but i find that like it's that your hair care routine all together is a uh, is like chopped in half compared to like what would you what you would have to do with the flat iron a flat iron and it makes it like that you don't have to use as much heat from your flat iron so like the, your heat from your um from your blow dryer is like safer for your hair than your heat from your flat iron so i really like this and um and yeah, so try out like using your brush as a blow dryer with your blow dryer and see if that works for you. I really like it because it gets my hair straight. Okay, and then after I blow dry my hair, I use my um my heat protector again. And so I use this before I blow dry and before I flat iron. And then my flat iron that I use is this one. It's called um Ceramica Pro. That's the name of it. And um, it just looks like this. It's like um, it's like cheetah, pink cheetah print or leopard print or I don't really know what print it is, but that. And I like it because um, you can adjust the temperature. Like the lowest temperature setting is 140 and the highest one is 410. So you can set it to 140 or 410 or any like temperature in between. And then also um, a good thing about this is that the blades, I don't know if you can tell, but they kind of like move. Because you know how like when you're like curling your hair under, bumping it under or something, um, you'll have like these bumps in your hair that like you can tell that you did it with a flat iron and not a not a curling iron. Well, with this, when the um when the plates like move, it makes it like smooth, and so like you don't have those ugly bumps in your hair and stuff like that. So that's really good about this, and um. Oh, I don't really know how much this was because my mom did purchase it for me, but it probably retails for like um, $75, $100, or $125, somewhere in between that. So it's not too expensive, and it is a good flat iron, but you just have to make sure, because this is the flat iron I was using when I damaged my hair. So you have to make sure, especially at such high temperatures, because I use mine on 410, you have to make sure that you do use heat protector with this. Okay, and then after I'm done with that, when my hair is all pretty, I use, um, I don't really know where the top went, I lost it, but you know. It's still good. I use the olive oil nourishing sheen spray and it looks like this. And it smells like really, really good. I think like all the products I mentioned smell really good. But um it like just gives your hair like a natural healthy shine and um and I don't know, like, if your hair is dry, like, or staticky throughout the week, like, I don't just use this after I'm done doing my hair. I use it, like, twice or three times throughout the week. If your hair is, like, dry or staticky, just spray it on your hair, and it, like, it, like, nourishes it and, like, moisturizes it so that it's not, like, shot, it's not, like, dry or staticky or anything like that. And it gives you a nice, pretty sheen to your hair. So I really like that. And, um, these are, like, I don't really know how much it is. But I think I got this at the beauty supply store. I don't know if they sell it at the drugstore or not. Okay, the last product I use, I don't use this when I'm doing my, when I'm like 
doing my hair like for the first of the week but like throughout the week my hair gets like really dry and I sometimes I just don't feel like doing my hair again or it's not like healthy for me to do my hair then because like I need to wait like a week and a half I don't need to do it like twice a week or anything like that so if my hair is like looking a little bit limp I use this it's a Tresemme dry shampoo and it looks like this and um, you may have seen this in my haul video, but I really, really do like this stuff. Back then, when I did my haul, I hadn't tried it yet, but now I have, and I really, really do like it. And all I do is, like, you shake it up, and then you spray it, like, a couple inches from your head, and, like, wait a couple minutes for it to dry, and then brush it out. And, um, and it just, like, gets rid of all the, like, oil in your hair. It, like, sucks up the oil or something like that. And... It smells absolutely good. Even if it doesn't work for you, at least it smells really good. I'm just kidding. It does work. Um, but just make sure that, like, mine is for oily, straight to normal hair. Just make sure that you get the one that's that's catered towards your hair. And so, um, that's all the products that I use in my hair care routine. Um, oh, and this, by the way, well, both of these. This is less, each of these products are less than $5 at a drugstore. So, um, those are all the products I use. I list all the prices, I named all the prices if I knew them, um, and where you could get them from, even if I didn't know the prices. So, um, I hope this really helped you guys out. Um, I hope that if you were looking for, like, a good, like, um, a good moisturizer or a good sheen or a good heat protector or something like that that um, you'll consider the products that I use in my hair because I really do like them and I wouldn't tell you guys that I like them if I don't and by the way this video isn't sponsored or anything like that so all the um, opinions are my own all the products were bought with my own money other than the flat iron which was a gift from my mom and so um so yeah, let me know any um, other good products that you guys use in your hair in the um, comment below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.